Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be doing this makeup look, very natural, but all clean products. All the products I used are Clean Beauty or they're by Clean Brands or just that one product might be their only clean product in the whole brand. So I thought this would be a great video for those that are really trying to better themselves and just become more aware of what they're doing to the planet to themselves this year. I also featured some skincare products in this video, but it's a very, very small, small skincare tutorial. It's just like a few products that I thought you guys would love to see, but mostly it's just this makeup look that is very, very natural. Don't forget if you're new here, please do like, comment, subscribe, and yeah, let's get into it and get into some clean beauty. Because a lot of my faves, thankfully are actually clean beauty so i feel like you guys need to know so let's start off with skincare i've already cleansed my skin this morning with the luminae nordic sea cleanser that is my favorite one it's like a balmy texture so it's really good for the morning and night but in the morning it just feels really refreshing which is why i like to use it so that's done and i'm actually going to go in with the luminae nordic sea essence this is like a vitamin c uh essence <laughs> um but i love it because it just like boosts uh your just glow and just makes you look so like good and just bright luminae if you haven't heard of them before this is their logo and they're a nordic brand um that focuses on like clean natural beauty and majority of their products are like 80 to 90 percent naturally derived some are 100 um, but they're really, really conscious on that, which I love. And their products are like top tier. So it's like a bonus. I'm actually going to use the eye cream today. This is the Ren Dark Circle Eye Cream. They just came out with this. And apparently like eliminates dark circles under your eyes. Ren is one of my favorite brands. Like anything they put out, I'm not as reluctant to try because I've tried a few of their products and most of the time it's a success so with me they have a very high success rate when it comes to like results and stuff like my favorite cleanser the jelly cleanser is by them their dark spot overnight cream is amazing that is very very good for scarring there's many other products like their overnight balm as well just honestly all of their products that i've tried so far apart from one have been amazing so ren is a very very good brand and now for moisturizer, I'm gonna go in with my favorite moisturizer, one of my faves. It's the Biosense Squalene, is it Squalene? Squalene Omega Repair Cream. I love this cream so, 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 so much. Now I know the way that Biosense collects their squalene is through a plant and not through sharks, which is usually how they collect it. So in that sense, they have really, 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 really tried to change the game of how that ingredient is collected. So I really appreciate that. And yeah, just their products in general, again, top, top, top. You can see all of the products together, just glow. My skin is moisturized and none of it's harming my skin, which is top, top, top priority. Now onto the makeup. <laughs> I've zoomed you guys in so you can get a real feel for the products and see my skin up close and personal. The first product I'm gonna use is the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. Milk makeup's actually been around for quite a while. Um, for me, what stands out the most is their packaging, I must say, just how easy um, the products are to use. It's all like twisty. Majority of them are like in this like form. So it's very, very easy to use. Their ingredients are clean, just everything. And they're also good. So it's just a win, 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 win. And they're actually quite affordable in my eyes. Like for what you get, the products are definitely on the affordable side. This primer is very good if you have combination oily skin as well because it is like a gel texture and it's quite tacky as well. I am combination and it's one of my faves. Next, we're gonna go in with the base or foundation you could say. And I'm gonna use the Say Tinted Moisturizer. I featured this in my last video, but honestly, I feel like I need to feature it again because it was such a great product. And Say is clean, natural like beauty embodied like literally if you go on their page first thing you see is like skin like up close macro shots just everywhere and it's just like if i was a brand i think i'd be saying <laughs> say say that um this is like the final step in your skincare routine and you can see like there is a tint 
but when it goes on the skin, matches perfectly. Perfect, perfectly. And it feels velvety, it feels light, it's very easy to blend, and it just gives a very, very nice finish. But like, impressed is an understatement, honestly. Everything you need in a product, it's skincare focus, it's makeup, and it just makes me feel so, so pretty without actually covering me, if that makes sense. Like, I can still see myself, which sometimes in makeup, you get lost, like, you start not seeing the real you, but this, like, enhances it, which I love. The shade match is perfect. I'm in the shade five, and honestly, you don't need to blend it too much. It just sinks into my skin so, so nicely. I can't wait to do, like, a tinted moisturizer video, like, tops, because that is one of the best I've tried, honestly. So I know I say I like glow, but of course sometimes you do need to get it under control. And I'm gonna feature this product for those that like to set their makeup in general. The product I love for doing that is the Bare Minerals Mineral Veil. This is the finest, lightest, most comfortable setting powder I've ever used. And I hate, 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 hate the feeling of cakiness or just like heaviness on my skin. I just hate it. I'm gonna use it to set my T-zone here and on my nose, because I don't want that to get out of control. But it really does set my face. It's light, it's comfortable. Bare Minerals is a top, top brand for me. Again, everything they're about, I stand for, so I'm really here for it. So yeah, they're another amazing, amazing brand that I would definitely recommend. Their powder foundation is actually the next thing on my list. I have a few things that I'm going to get from Bare Minerals because, you know, I was on their website, I was getting a bit excited. But yeah, you'll see some more stuff from them. Next, I'm gonna do my eyebrows. I'm actually gonna use the e.l.f. eyebrow pencil. e.l.f. is a very affordable brand that really, 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 really does try um, to like better itself all the time, become more clean, become more um, environmentally friendly, cruelty, all of that stuff. I feel like they genuinely make an honest effort to become better and I really appreciate that, which is why I'm featuring them today. But yeah, they've got quality, they've got the price, everything on point. Now onto the next step, I'm gonna use the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer and I'm sure you've seen this stuff everywhere recently. I have, and I feel like it just came out of nowhere. I've never heard of the brand previously, but I ordered some bits from them and honestly, very, 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 very impressed. I see the hype, I see why people are banging on about it. Um, but this bronzer is a gorgeous formula. It is a very, very nice formula for like natural. And even the packaging, it's got like a mirror and it like flips down into the bronzer, which is really nice for travel and stuff like that. So I'm gonna use that today just to lightly bronze around my face. I just place the product with the flat kabuki and then I blend it with another brush. Okay, so that's done. The bronze is very, very natural as you can see. Um, very nice formula, very comfortable, so I love it for that. And now I'm gonna go in with a blush. This is the Milk Makeup Lip and Cheek. I love these sticks that they do in like every color. Their highlight as well. All their masks and like skincare is also like this, which is so, so convenient for travel. Um, but this is the shade Work. And I'm gonna just place it on the high points because I like my blush really high. And then I'm gonna blend it out with the same brush that I used for my bronzer because why not? It's all gonna come in together anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Usually I use my fingers, but um, today I'm just trying to be like more organized and use a brush. But usually I just go like with all their products, so feel free to do that as well with their stuff. Don't feel like you're doing it wrong. You're supposed to actually use your fingers, I feel. And then, because I'm already here, I'm just gonna use my highlight, because why not? I'm gonna go in with the Honest Beauty Magic Beauty Balm Stick and just place it on the high points of my face. This product is amazing if you have no makeup on and you've just got skincare 
and you just kind of want to look more prepped this is what that's for and you can use it literally anywhere on your chest collarbones top of your lip your lip even just eyeshadow literally anywhere the eyes i'm going to keep very very natural of course for a natural look and i'm just going to use the milk makeup kush mascara this bottle i don't know if anyone else is like this but certain feels and like textures just make me cringe and this is one of them i can't like if i hold it i can't go like this because it's just like oh it gave me the shivers like oh you can see it's like a oh no it's like a ringy texture it's bump like oh no i can't but aside from the uh packaging which is just me being weird this mascara is very very good for natural um not clumpy but you can make it clumpy again type of looks this mascara is all about lengthening I think final step is literally just lips, so I'm just going to go in with the Say lip product. I don't know if this is the Balm Gloss, I'm not sure, or the shade either. Um, so I'm going to just like feature it on screen, but this is very, very nice for natural looks again. Say really come through. I think they're a new brand because I hadn't previously heard of them. So yeah guys, this is my final look. Very, very natural very skin like i think the only thing that gives it away is probably the mascara but other than that it's very minimal which i love this is me this is my kind of vibe i hope i've introduced you guys to some new brands and some new products that you might have not known you needed in your life um, but these are some of my faves by some of my favorites these are all products and brands that i feel like are making a very very big effort and are really doing their best to better the world better the industry better everyone that buys their products and everything like that so i really appreciate all of them for what they're doing and i hope other brands follow in their footsteps and become more self-aware of what they're doing the pollution just the ingredients literally everything they do i hope they like take a step back and think why don't we change this you know let's look at the bigger picture so yeah this is a good little insight i feel like thank you so much for watching guys and i will see you again on thursday bye